Hey, we back like we never left. Since, since we back in this thing. Back like we um, never left. Uh, quick question, man. What up? Just, um, you still think Murray the best quarterback in the NFL right now? Yes, sir. Because that boy, what's his name, is doing his thug thizzle. Who? Patrick Mahomes. He did all right the other night. He ain't did nothing that kid folk ain't done. He's doing real good, bro. Okay. What's their record? Who? What's the Chiefs record? I think they got one loss. I know. Okay. How many did the Cardinals got? They got three. They, 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 they won last night? Who? The other day? No, 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 no. They did. They did. They, they had it. They lost okay. So what's your point, man? I'm, I just asked the question. I said, no, no, no. What's your point? Go on. Go, go say it with your chest. You doing all this talking? I'm just asking. The what's question. your point, you bro? Think, what's your you point? Think? What? 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 What's your point? Okay. Okay. This is my question. Yeah. Okay. This question has off, off, off to do with the uh, the whole Kyler Murray thing. Yes. <clears throat> when we look at, because I, I just saw just a post, but it, it, not a post, but on ESPN. And has a high school basketball player. Do you think NFL should at least? Do you think any any player will be ready? Not, not maybe not out of high school, but his first year. Like you know, we had the big incident for football. With, for football, like you know, you had like Maurice Clarnett that tried. You had Mike Mike Physic Mike Williams. Fi I think physically, some of them are because again, I think the the like who like who would you say like Adrian Peterson was ready. Okay. Like I think he was ready. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um QB wise, I don't know because of the game it, it is 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 a lot faster. You know that you gotta read you gotta make reads quicker. I think physically you can. I don't know if you could be successful, yeah. but you know what I mean? It's, I mean, it's a, I mean, because it's, it's a man's the, game. Because same, same thing, NBA. I mean, you got some, you got players that players that's come out but, of high but school, NBA but not all is, of them. But not all of them were successful. You got a few. But NBA is different because it's not a physical game. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? NFL is physical, so I do think there's there. You know, that's some big kids. You know, but but you didn't think like Jadavion Clowney when he when he was. Yeah, I think he could have played. I think he I think he could have played, but again, it would have been a, a big adjustment period. A, a okay. big adjustment period for him because he would have been getting handled. He would have been seeing tackles that was way bigger than what he was seeing and way more athletic than what he was seeing in high school. That that high school that high school is is a yeah, big no, yeah, jump. I, yeah, because when you get to high school, you got you got you got when you playing, you a beast. Mm -hmm. You a beast compared right. to the other people. You know what I'm saying? Like you, like when I was playing, like I had some teams that we played. I'm like ah, piece of cake. Mm -hmm. But when you get to college, it starts to limit it. You know, not everybody can make it. But when you right. get to the league, like everybody's good, even the ones that suck. Like they, they, they have some type of right. goodness about them. So I agree. It's okay. definitely a jump. It, it, it's a huge jump. So, oh. so like, like, like I was saying, NBA. You look at NBA. Some, some of them people, man. Like, not all of them successful come out of high school. Not all of them was. You got. I know one. I know one that was real successful. Kobe Bean Bryant. No. Kobe Bean Bryant was very successful. Not his first year. I'm saying when not got, his first two years. Gotta, it, fact, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't gotta be. I'm, I'm saying it, he he able to stay and go through. He was successful. You right. He was successful. He, he was you finna successful. talk about LeBron James? I'm not about to talk about nobody. G. Reed. I love how we always get up here and you just. Because that's what you, you want to do. You seem to know what I'm. That's gonna what say. you want to do. You seem to know what I'm gonna say before I even know what I'm gonna say. Because look, I wasn't gonna say anybody. Listen, listen. I was talking about. Listen, you got Kevin five senses. Garnett. You got five senses, right? Yes, you do. And what are they? S uh, smell, smell, see, see, sight, sight, uh, feel. Hold on, no, see, see, see and sight. Yes, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> feel, <laughs> feel. Okay, feel. Uh, what else? Oh, you said hear. Okay, I think so, I said I named okay, them so all. I think I named them. All. I can, I can hear. Yeah, I can see. You can smell. I can feel. Yes, smell. I can smell. I can it's, taste. Yes. Yes, that you finna say some bull crap. I'm <laughs> I already know. I use all five senses, and I know what look, you finna do. You not finna talk about no Kevin Garnett. So look, Kevin Garnett wasn't successful his first but year. This, but this is the thing, and neither was Kobe Bean Bryant. I, but but I know okay, I know I know, said, I said, I know you, you said, finna talk about. But that but you said Kobe Bean. But I this said is Kobe. The thing. I said, <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing. 
I do be saying the gospel up here. Sometimes you just don't be wanting to receive it, G. Reed. Because, I, I mean, let's just keep it 100. The word is the word. The word is the word. And I be giving you but the see, word. And, see, you ain't, see, and you ain't since the word, Since the word is the word. Yes. Listen. Sometimes you go to church. Like, I went to church, you know, last week when I went to church. I went in there. You don't know when you go to church. You leave. You feel like, oh, you know, I'm refreshed. Like, I feel good. The word is the word, but I didn't feel like that. But when I went the time before that, the word was the word, and I felt, and I was like, oh, I feel good. So not every word that you say, I feel good about. And you don't have to. So I know, make, but it don't so make. I know that the word is the word, but where it's coming from don't necessarily make it feel like it's supposed to feel. But it's still the word. It's but still I, the gospel. It's still the truth. And there are people, there are wolves in sheep clothing. And the truth shall set you free. The wolves in sheep clothing. Yeah, I'm not talking about no sheep's clothes. I'm talking about the wolves. I'm talking about the word. The wolves in sheep clothing. <laughs> I'm talking about we, the we, word. We, 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 we go here, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I forgot what I was going to you gonna say. You going to say LeBron. No. This and that, you going to hoop and holler. All I was going to say. No, I wasn't. I wasn't doing all that today. All I was saying was that the dude was successful out of he high school. Was. You and I'm saying it's a small school. number of people. It, that's it. I wasn't okay. going to go okay. into okay. I Okay, this is the this, this, this last thing I just want to discuss with you. Yeah. Do you believe that it would, it would better fit, it would better fit for, for the players especially, mm -hmm. If the best teams, because I feel like a lot of the a lot of the sorry teams get rewarded for their terrible record, as they should. I feel like they shouldn't though. But that's because I, I feel like they get the no, no, go the, ahead, go the, ahead, go the ahead. reason that the reason that it's set up for them to get the first pick is mm -hmm. because they're terrible. Yeah. So you can only get better mostly by having good players. So yeah. if you're terrible, it's more times than not because your players aren't as good as the, the players that you're playing against. So it's set up for you to get a really good player because your players are probably not that good. I understand that. I get that. But a lot of times what happen is a lot of times they get these players and they ruin their careers because they put them in a system that they cannot be successful in. I feel like if the be if the better teams, like say, for instance, the Patriots – where to get the first round pick, right? Mm -hmm. Because they they want Super Bowl. Their reward is you win, so you get the reward. I feel like they wouldn't necessarily get the best player in the draft. They would get the best player that fits them. Yeah, that I mean that's true. But that's like I feel like with Golden State winning, I, I mean with Golden State, what happened this year? I feel like Golden State picked the best for their team, which was a center. You right. I feel like they didn't go after and say, let's just let's let's get LaMelo ball and let's just let's get him and maybe we can use him as trade bait. No, they said, let's fill a position that we actually and I feel like the best teams wouldn't get the best player unless that's what filled their position that they actually need. And I feel like it's not fair a lot of times because you get teams that tank and they get a player and it's like, they finna ruin this dude's career. So many people, so many players been ruined. Some, some, some. Some have turned around. Mm -hmm. Some have turned around. But a lot has been ruined because the system they get put in, this best player they took off the board. Like, I feel like when the Lakers made their selection, like, why you pick him? Feel the position that you need. Well, well, but And see, and that's what's getting lost in, in this whole conversation right now is it still has to be managed a certain way. Yeah. It still, you know, somebody still has to evaluate the talent and pick the talent and, and make the talent and groom the talent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To make your 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 team to to make your team successful. And with that being said, I, I kind of want to get in and get in kind of get into that yeah. because your boy ain't seen to been able to pick no talent. Who is that? The so called yo go not not yo go but the public's go. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get these shout outs because we fin we getting we getting right into this thing. And, and I don't wanna I don't wanna yeah, do this before yeah, we get yeah. those shout outs to, okay, my, to my okay. boy. Go ahead, you you y'all wait hey, what hey, you do. It's, it's your boy G Reed, G Reed 61. You feel me? Follow me on all social media platforms. Uh man, shout out Child Time TV to our new platform. Um Child Time Sports, Sports Network. Network. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out. I'm I'm gonna give a shout out before he do it. Shout out hype, man. Hype. Shout out hype, man. That Appreciate dude. you for putting us on this platform and giving us opportunity to be able, you know, to just give y'all what we got. 
my brother. And make sure y'all check out Throw It In The Game, which is his podcast on Child Time TV. And uh, you, it's all love, Hype. You know what it is with me. And then my boy Matt here at uh, Houston uh, Podcast Studios. Houston with uh, an H, though. With an H. And then uh, <laughs> Elosa, our actual uh, production manager who who puts all the bells and whistles and everything sure. together. It's nothing but love. We appreciate everybody. Now, with that being said, like I said, your boy, Michael Jordan. What do you do, man? What do you man, do? He time? he just gave that leprechaun a hundred and twenty million. He gave it to him already. Yes, gave it to him. Four years, yeah. hundred and twenty minutes. Gordon Hayward. Twenty minutes from twenty. One hundred twenty million. Oh, okay. I thought I thought, I thought I thought we were talking about the draft pick, but okay. No, 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 no. Uh, well, he picked Lamelo. We can talk about that too, because I don't because I don't think he's as good as advertised. Me personally. From the highlights. Now I haven't watched. We the gotta whole, see. We gotta see. A whole we gotta bunch see. of games. Because he, because he, because he do, he do play in the Drew League, and he does do pretty good. I, I can do them grown men. You already no, you know can't. what. I, no, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> why? This is going out there to the why Drew you, and doing why you, why you be disrespecting my skills? Like, like I used to couldn't ball. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help the people because you disrespecting the people. Like they can't, like they can't do this. Look, this is the thing. Your boy, the public's boy. That's not my boy. The public's goat. Michael Jordan just gave Gordon Hay Haywood $120 million over four years. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he been you hurt seen. I, uh, I, he, even when he wasn't hurt. He, he ain't worth, down he ain't worth no $120 million. Yeah. I don't know. He, he, so, ain't, he ain't even top 30. No. He ain't. He might but, be top 30. But, but 30. nah, he ain't top 30. N number 30. N yeah, 30. 30.5. <laughs> 30. But why is Michael Jordan continue, continuing to pick these subpar talent and then giving them all this money? Part of the reason they've been bad for so long is because they continue to have contracts that they can't get rid of because the players is terrible. And then the one player that he did have that was good, Kimball, he didn't want to pay him. But you want to give 120 to Gordon Hayward? So my question to you, is Michael Jordan the worst evaluator of talent ever? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I don't know. Like, I don't know what type of system he's looking for. With with with, with, with signing Gordon Hayward, I, I don't know what system. I mean, because his system's been so different with the players that he had. Like with him, with him drafting Lamelo Ball, I don't know what he's trying to do. Like I I, I don't know because then you got Hayward. I don't know who you got in the post. Like I don't understand what he's trying to do because if he want to do a triangle, look like all he got is a square, <laughs> and he's a square. I mean, I'm just gonna be real. So I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say that though because what you mean you wouldn't say that? He's he picked he, Kwame Brown he, number one. He's had some bus. He, he got some good talent. Who? He do. Who? Jordan. Jordan got some good talent for the Bobcats. He got some good talent, but can he put them? He got Graham. In, he got Lamelo. Who is Graham? Graham. The, oh, the, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The little guard. Yeah, little, little nice. Guard. Yeah. yeah. He, and he nice. He nice. He got, he got Ro uh, Terry Rozier. Uh. What's the other? Yeah, he got he got Rosier. Who's the who, who's the uh, the 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 shooting guard? He was a rookie from Kentucky. A rookie from Kentucky. He used to be a rookie from Kentucky. Can't remember his name. He's a shooter though. He can shoot. He can shoot now. Yeah, he can shoot now. Man, they ain't don't they, know. His they name, only though. had two good players last but they, year. But they have some good Graham talent. And Rosier. They, 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 they have some good talent. It's just being able to put them in the right positions to make them successful. And his his his. His systems have not been successful. I don't know what coaching sits. Coaches That's because his is, players his has been terrible. You good, can't have you players. can't have a, a a good system with terrible players. He got some good enough players, man. He do. He really do. He got some good enough players. Please tell me you ain't talking about Nicholas Batum. No, no, no. Because he terrible. He let him go. Dwayne Bacon. He terrible. He let him go. I think his name is like Meek or something. Miles Bridges. He got Vernon. Ain't nobody. Devontae Graham was their best player. No, he's their best player, but they got another guy. They got a shooting guard. He was a rookie from. I mean, he was from Kentucky. Malik Monk. Yeah, Man. he's a shooter. He's a shooter. He can shoot. He's pretty good. Terry Rozier. I don't know where Lame what Lamelo gonna do. 
Then somebody come on here yesterday. I seen somebody who is mellow. Is it Carmelo or is it Love Mello? Love Mello. If Mello. you don't get out of here, it ain't listen, no listen, Love Mello. Listen, listen, listen. That's listen. disrespectful, bro. I don't know about his his. I don't know where his vision is. It's Who? hard to say because I don't know what Jordan vision is for his team. Neither do we. And, 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 that's and his the issue. team, his team don't. That's the issue. So just let's. So let's. We don't even. This. This don't even need to be a long. Uh, we segment, it don't. Dog. It don't because. It's so funny. let's just go ahead and say it. Michael Jordan, the public's goat, is the worst evaluator of talent in the history of evaluations of talent. I, I, I Can we say that? Who is worse? Who better? Who, who, who I, mean, worse? I mean, because for for his team, he 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 knew he knew no G Reed. He knew Pippen was good. Who's knew, worse than him? Rodman was good. Who? Jordan knew them people was good. Jordan, that was Jerry Krause. That wasn't Michael Jordan. He wasn't he picking knew, no. But he knew that he needed them people to be successful too. Who is worse than him evaluating and picking talent in the NBA? Man, Larry in the Bird. last no, Larry Burton wasn't Isaiah Thomas. No, Isaiah Thomas wasn't both of them, bro. Man, all three of them, all three of them, you, all three of them, you, you, all, you three of them. You tripping, all three you tripping, of them, you tripping, bro. You tripping, you tripping. Phil tripping. Jackson too, because he had that. You tripping, 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 you tripping. Boy, it's dookie, you tripping. Bro. But I got another question for you. What, what's, what's the okay, question? Okay, my boy Shador Sanders, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, finally went on ahead and committed, and is joining his pops, Dion Primetime Sanders, at Jackson State, historically uh, HBCU College. Yes, sir. So my question is, is you know, he 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 was going to uh, Florida Atlantic, I think, um, first. So, but now he's been switching, of course, and he's going over with his dad. Is that a move that he had to do, or is that a move that, you know what I mean? He just chose to do because it's his dad. Could he have stayed and, and not went to 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 Jackson State University and in prime time still be legitimate? You know what I'm saying and have credibility as far as coming over to, to Jackson State and changing around saying that he wants to get four and five star athletes to come to Jackson State now. Um, Did he have to go there? He, he didn't have to. He didn't have to. But it it does help out a lot for uh, Prime because – I don't know who the quarterback is at Jackson State right now. Anyway. <laughs> I don't think. I don't, I don't think anybody in. in, in I, don't think, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't think nobody knows. I mean, all they know is the band for them. But um, with him going over there, it it does it does a lot because it gives him now, you know, somebody somebody that he he's familiar with, somebody he knows his game, understands his game, and can be able to uh, you know uh, put pieces around him to make him successful because he already understands them. So it, it helps out a lot. If he if he goes to the school that he, he talked about going to, um, it it hurts him. So it, it does too. help him. It hurts Dion because now he's fighting to get a quarterback mm -hmm. because the quarterbacks that he have now we we know nothing about. But at least we know something about this guy. He's a freshman. He's his son, and we know what he can do. Right now we got to see what he can do on the college level, which I feel like him playing in the in the conference he's in. It's almost like playing six A football in Texas. In the swag? In the swag. Okay. I'm that, not disrespecting, that's disrespecting the swag. I'm not that disrespecting was disrespectful. the swag. That was that was that was very disrespectful. Come on, bro. Some of the six A footballs that now we got some good football. Yeah, out we here. do, that's what I'm saying. But that was disrespectful. No, come on, some of the That was real disrespectful. But let me say this. North Shore probably could beat P V. We probably beat the Dallas Cowboys too. No. Nah. But, <laughs> but we can beat P V. <laughs> I don't, th th that's disrespectful. North Shore can beat PV. Now you're disrespecting. Now you're disrespecting, bro. You, 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 you're disrespecting. Duncanville can't beat Southern? You're disrespecting right <laughs> you now. Bro. Southern, bro. <laughs> you can beat Southern, bro. Duncanville can beat Southern, bro. But look, I will say this. He had to go. How can you have a son that's playing college football and you say you're going to a university to make a difference and you want to get four and five star caliber athletes mm -hmm. and your son is a four star caliber athlete and he doesn't come to your school yeah he had to go because if he didn't go imagine him sitting in your living room and trying to convince you to come to my school but his son don't go but your son don't go there True. and True. had a chance True. True. so yes he had to go and True. knowing Dion, like i said i think i said it in a previous uh podcast and knowing his son and, and just knowing me and my father's relationship which I, I would deem to be a very very good one I know if it's me and that was my dad 
I'm, I'm hands down going to where you but, go. But you get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no. I get what you're saying. So there is no question. So, so, so your dad becomes the head coach of a football team. Yes. You going? Yes, sir. And I say that because when I was in school, we had a coach, coach my, my last year, Coach Kugler. I'm at UTEP, right? Mm -hmm. And he's the head coach. But his son, his son goes to Michigan. Mm -hmm. That should have told you something. <laughs> what does it tell me? First of all, where, 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 <laughs> where, where was you at? I was at UTEP. You was at UTEP? Yeah, you tell. Now, but this is the thing. Was he there prior to his son going there? His son didn't commit nowhere yet. Well, no, no, his son was committed to Michigan. Well, and then too, it's it's different. It, it's it's different because those are both D one schools, and I don't think he's trying to make a change. You know, come about. But my dad at is coaching. My no, dad no, is the head I, coach. I get it. I get now. Now this is the thing too, though. Some people. Because it's just like my son. Like, my son doesn't respond to me well as a coach. Mm -hmm. Like, I've just learned that. Like, you know, he's running track. Every time I go out there, the, the coach say, hey, man, when you out here, bro, he's so focused on looking at you and, 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 and you know, worrying about what you're thinking that he don't really go hard like he do when he when he go when you're not here. When you're not here, he be like, the boy be running. Yeah. So, and then when I take him by myself to work out with him, you know, when I get on him, he, he shuts down. He starts pouting. It's like he can't uh, make the differentiation yeah, yeah. between coach and dad. You know, he thinks that I'm really disappointed. And I do be disappointed. You know, he be pissing me off. But I'm just <laughs> saying when I get on him at, as a coach, he shuts down. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I I could see if, if it was him and I was coaching somewhere, I wouldn't expect him to come where I was because he doesn't respond I mean, to my, head my coach, coach. though. No, I know, but I, I'm just saying those you know, kind of like that, that relationship. That. He Shador had already played for his dad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and they won three, you know, uh, state champions. State, mm -hmm. you know, they won three chips. So they already have a good relationship. They know each other as coach and player. That was something that I think again he had to do to legitimize what his dad is trying to do at Jackson State. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's just what I. That's just, that's just what I think. Yeah, you know I, I'm, I'm. But like I'm saying, man, I, I. I if if if, it, if it's my father, and I have a great relationship with my father, mm -hmm. I'm going to play with my father for sure. I mean, it's, Me I too. mean, because like, because because my coach, Coach Patterson, is with the Vikings right now. His son, AC, his uh, he he's the defensive coordinator, but his son played off play offensive line. Mm -hmm. His son immediately said, "I'm I'm going to UTEP." You know what I'm saying? So it's okay. it's only right, you know what I'm saying, with a great relationship with your father. And you understand what your what your what you want your father what your father wants to do. He wants to win. Mm -hmm. He wants to bring, like you said, the change. Why not? Like, I, I'd be an idiot to say, I love my dad. My dad's great, this and that. And then I go somewhere else. No, right. I can go with my dad right. and make a huge difference. So, right. yeah, I'm with, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm with you on that one. All right. Now. For sure. For sure. Let's, we, now, today yeah. I got I got some stuff for you, G. Reed. He got the nonsense. No, no, no. Look, look, look. look. Okay, okay. You calm down. You always get to doing that, You G. always got the nonsense. No, I, okay. But look, check this out. See, you know, when we talked about doing this thing, more than athletes, we talked about, you know, talking about some different subjects. And all stuff off. Like that. All off. Just, just, so, just locker room talk. Just locker room talk. So mm -hmm. I got some locker room for you today. What's that? Okay. It is reported that athletes, when they get married, they getting a divorce at a lot higher rate mm. than us mere mortal folks. Okay. Yeah. So my question is, is why is, or why do you think athletes can't seem to stay married as long as regular folk? Why are they getting a divorce at an 80 to 85% clip than regular folk at a 50 to 60% clip? Man, man, what I, what I honestly believe with this man is, Man, and, it, and it, it may sound bad, but I'm just going to be real. I feel like a lot of the women are with them for the status that they have at the time. You you had a high with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like when 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 you as an athlete, you got all this, all this praise, all this glory. And now you in and the woman, she in there with them. Mm -hmm. But then once you lose that, you got you got we got TV shows, TV shows of wives who was with former basketball players like you got you got big because of your man mm. right and so most of them get with another basketball player a guy that's playing or a guy that's still like in in the industry 
And I feel like that's what happens. You get with somebody and they're you with the person for the wrong reason. Now, not, not everybody like that. Some right. people are with you for the right reasons. But I feel like you're getting with people for the wrong reasons. Maybe the man is getting with the woman. Oh, she bad, so I'm getting with her. Mm -hmm. And then you getting married and you thinking, oh, we're going to be great. But then once everything starts to change, that person changed. So, so you don't think that the athlete has anything to do with the relationship going bad? Some do. The, some do. Uh, well, okay. Let's because over aggression with, with with some sports, it could be that way. Well, let's not just say. Let's just keep it real. Even as a coach, as an athlete, there's in season and there's yeah out of season. Yeah, yeah. So if you in basketball, you gone what eight months out of the year? You ain't with them a lot of times. I, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I know you now. I, I'm married. Yeah. And, and and I got three kids. Mm -hmm. And when I was coaching, I wasn't even a professional athlete. I was just coaching. It was a problem yeah, in the household no because she felt like I was never at home. Yeah. So a lot of times the reason is the divorce is just because the woman uh, needs are not being met, uh, not met, being met. Because I don't melt it. I'm pretty sure she <laughs> melted. <laughs> Ooh, I got a comment for that, but I ain't gonna say it on that, right, y'all? Yeah, but but this is the thing: needs are not being met. Mm -hmm. I'm not at home handling responsibilities. She's left to be at home to raise the kids and pay the bills mm -hmm. because she's there. Yeah. So, yes, it may be his money, but she's the one doing all of the work. So he don't get no kind of uh, uh, what you trying to say? <laughs> you going to get the word out? I'm needing to Get it together. I'm saying. I'm job. saying he should get some some fault, some blame too. No, 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 no. no, no but, but okay, okay. But th th this becomes a thing too. You know when the whole quarantine, the quarantine thing happened. The who? The quarantine. Yeah. Okay. You get my words right. Yeah, yeah. Because I, 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 I do you the yeah, same yeah, way. Yes, exactly. That's why I'm coming right hey, back hey, at you. Listen, listen. Look, we both throw jabs. If I can up dish in it. <laughs> you better be able I to can take, take it. it. You yeah, feel me? But, yeah. but, but. When the quarantine thing happened, you had a lot of people that were spending more time with their mates mm -hmm. that they don't normally spend. Okay. And sometimes you start to say, well, dang, like this person really irritating me because mm -hmm. you're not used to spending that much time. You used to going to work, coming home, get a little time. We do that. I go to sleep all over again. Even, even on the weekend, you, you marriage a person on the weekend. You got your time when you doing this, they doing this. Right. But when you together more, it becomes friction because you start to say, man. Dang. And so I feel like probably in some cases too, when it comes to athletes is that since you gone most of the time, you practicing this and that, when now you at home and you just chilling mm -hmm. and it's just y'all two just chilling. It's like now you start to, the stuff that you missed out on, mm -hmm. you got to face it. And maybe they just wasn't fit. Maybe they thought they was in the, in the separated time with each other showed them, Oh, we we can make this happen, but then when you got more time with each other, you start to realize like maybe we not for each other. Maybe I shouldn't be with this person, and then stuff starts to transpire, and now you going on to the next person. You going on to the other the other life that you lived with that person. Now you got the same thing. I want to be with somebody who wants to work and wants to grind, and you saying that because you got less time with this person. But he's working and he's grinding. Yeah. He's working in his craft. And I, I know, and, and, I, and I'm saying whenever, whenever that craft and stuff is over, and now you back to your retire, your retirement, mm -hmm. and you spending more time with each other, it's not the same no more. Okay, it's not the same as what you had before, and I feel like that becomes a huge piece. Is that my grandma always told me. What you did at the beginning, you got to do to keep her. Yeah. So if all you're doing is spending time with her, the time you stop spending time with her, it's going to be like, dang, what's going on? Like, why? Like, what's the problem? Yeah, but 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 a lot of the athletes, time and, and, and is spent on that craft. Of course. No, of so course. So you, you, you married me. You knew, you knew who it was. You knew what I was mm -hmm. when, when you married me. Even if I, even if we met in high school, you knew what it was. You know, I gotta have this, 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 this time to, to not just in season, but out of season to make sure that I can perform in season, so we can financially stay afloat to live how you want to live. Because most course. of the time, let's be real, most of them wives don't work. Yeah, at all. Most of them don't work, but most of them drive the Bentleys. You know what I'm saying? Living in the, the, the $2.5 million houses, mm -hmm. you know, eight bedrooms and 26 baths, and it's only four people. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I get you. So, so you want to buy Prada, Gucci. Yeah. 
You want to wear red bottoms. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you just okay. black bottoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, 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 you want to, you want a Birkins. You know what I'm saying? You, <laughs> get your beard. Get your beard. You, you want all of this stuff, but when he's gone, it's a problem. So, so, so my issue up in here. Now that I said that, you know, I'm, 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 I'm starting to kind of get kind of pissed off up here a little bit when I think about it, because he, he, these women they be wanting it all, and they want an athlete. They want more and more. You know what I'm saying? But when the athlete ain't ain't there then that's a problem. If he there too much, then that's a problem. So it, it seems like with women, I love y'all. Love you to death. Trust me. Don't nobody love you more than me. You I know what I'm saying? Death. But y'all need to get it together because y'all got these athletes out here athleting and y'all ain't holding up your end of the bargain. But I don't think like, okay, we, we say athletes, we athletes, but it's, it's a lot to come at. So I, I, I read this, I read a couple books. I read one book called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. I read one. That I ain't said, from no damn um, Mars. I was born over on. <laughs> it was another one that said men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti. And so what happens, man, is because Eggplant. women, they, the way they be thinking, bro, like you got to think about it. Like, you know, you, you have, and I, I know you encountered this many times in your life where you like, they, you get asked what you want to eat. Uh, you like, I don't care. Man. I don't care what I want to eat. Don't ask and them, me. They, they care really. They, but they care. trying to act like. And, and, and it's the thing. It's the thing. If they ask you and, and you be a man, you be a real man. You know they say real man is when they ask you, you 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 make the decision. You already know. They don't want that. So if I say, you say, you know, we get something quick to eat. What you want to eat? In and out. I don't, I don't really want, want no in and out. I don't want no you, burger. You show sure right. They be tricky. So why ask me? Exactly. And so the thing is, is that. They know what they want, but they don't know how to express it to an extent. And, oh, they and, know. And, and, and it's they like, know. it's bothering. And that's what happens they in know. relationships. No, that's that, called, it's called manipulation. That's, let's just keep it real, Reed. So are they narcissists? Let's just keep it. Yes. This, yes, yes. Hell yes. <laughs> they, they, they knew what they wanted when they asked you. They knew they wanted. Because they be the having bar. the answer. They asked you a question. Yes. And they, they, got they knew. The they knew. They, but see, they want to make you feel feel like you leading but they act like we dumb enough to know that once i give you five choices and you turn down all five choices when i asked you what you wanted to eat and you said it don't matter whatever i wanted to eat mm -hmm. but you didn't take none of the five choices that i gave you and then when i said when you say well we right here by olive garden that you really should have just said baby can we go to olive garden i've been you know, I've been craving. Yeah. You know the the the, the what's that the Italy the tour Italy. <laughs> if if that's what you wanted, go ahead and say it. But exactly, but they don't do that. They don't. They do that old manipulation. You know what I'm saying? Of trying to, I, I don't care. Why don't can't you make you the decision? I tried. I tried. But you, but you, man, boy, that be I. I, I, I and, tried and, and, that. I don't even so, ask. And so that's what I'm saying, like that's why it plays into a part a lot with the relationship as well. That's why it's like. So it's the woman's fault. You want, I don't. I don't want to say what says the woman's fault because it, 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 it becomes the man part. The man fault too. Not in that case. And, and not in that the case, case. That's not in the scenario that, right there, that we no, just. No, no, that we right just, there. No, no. That yeah. I believe that's their 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 fault. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff that's their fault. But that's when that book comes into play. Where it said women think like spaghetti, where spaghetti is all over the place. When a man thinks inside the box, like a waffle. Mm. So it's 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 it's, it's 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 the truth. Like we think simple. And like you can ask a girl, what color is this? And if I say, you know, I look at it, I say it's blue. Mm. That's an indigo. That, that's <laughs> a royal. It's navy. No, it's blue. All that you just said is blue. I'm not trying to hear all that. All right. But they they think in a different mindset. And it's all like, you ain't gotta go, you ain't gotta do all that. Like we can just do this. That's simple. So in that case, when 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 it stuff get complicated, I feel like the complicating part, they feel like a man complicated when a man is just like, no. We ain't we we're we, gonna be straightforward. We're gonna bro, be, hey, this I this. I I can say this. I am the most least complicated <laughs> Straight person. Up. You can. I don't care, bro. Like I'm, I'm for real. Like you care, but it's like it's no, not. It's not I that big of a deal. No, ain't nothing that big of a deal. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I really don't care. But I, you know, I'm not gonna talk about personal stuff. But I'm just gonna say, you know, women be they be caring about stuff that don't need to be caring bro, about. Who you telling? Like, like for real, bro. 
I already know. But let me ask you this, because this, 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 you, you hit on something earlier when you was talking about, you know, uh, the women and the, and the men being out and, 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 and men doing this and, and doing that. Let's talk about trust, because trust, we talked about a little bit of the finance. We talked about a little bit of finance. But trust, because this is one of the things when, we, when, we, when I ask the questions about is why is athletes divorced more than regular people? You know, finances is a, is a, is a big issue. And it mm -hmm. seemed like it wouldn't be because there should be plenty of finances yeah. if he's a professional athlete. But I know trust is a, is a big thing in, in common folk, but especially in Huge. athletic af athletes' marriages. Mm -hmm. Who is more distrusted, though? Would it be the athlete in a relationship or the groupie that landed? The athlete, the group in the in the, in the, the relationship, groupie, the groupie, the group. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait. I, I gotta hold on. I'm wait. going straight to the. I'm going straight to the answer. I'm going straight to the answer. The groupie. You got. You ask me the question. I answer the question. The groupie, and I'm gonna tell you why the groupie. Because the groupie is the groupie mindset is different. Now, look, look it's funny because now my grandma, she ain't no groupie. <laughs> I would like, she, might, she might used to be, but, but 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 listen, she told me something one day, oh, and it, it really made me think. So my grandma said, she said, "You're not looking for love, you're looking for help." And I'm like, "What?" She said that to you. She said that. She said as no, she was talking about herself. Like, uh -oh. Baby, you, when you me, you ain't looking for love, you're looking for help. Uh -huh. And a lot of people take not just women. But men do some some men do the same thing, but a lot of women do it because I'm hearing this from a woman perspective. So I'm taking this from a woman. I didn't hear this from no man. She said, "You're not looking for love. You're looking for help." And a lot of groupies ain't looking to get with that man and say, "Oh yeah, I just love him for him." They love him for what he got. Right. That's and groupies and groupies. That's the reason of why it becomes an issue because they looking at you for what you got. So when we talked about what we just talked about, th those groupies who get into it are looking at this what he got and he ain't got it no more. They're gone. Uh, okay, but G. Reed, that's a good point. And I do agree with you 110%. However, if a groupie, if you're going to fault a groupie for grouping, you got to fault the athlete for, for, for messing with the groupie. Right. So, again, you just said that the groupie is with the athlete because of the money. And yeah. when the money ain't gone, when, when the money gone, she looking to move on. Yeah. Or she looking to look at somebody so, else yeah, with some more money. They got yeah. some money. But, uh, but the athlete, if he knows she a groupie, he Which tripping. nine times out of ten he knows she's a groupie. If you go up in that strip club and you and you come out with that stripper, she was in there trying to get you know trying to get your money. Yeah, and you try to take her home because of what of her assets. Yeah, right. So when you ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I cut it. But okay, I, <laughs> I already know you just messed it all up. So so when you look. She ain't the only one with assets. No. Nah. Just like. It's a couple of them in there. Exactly. Just like he ain't the only player with money. Yeah. So how can you, again, why is the groupie getting blamed for groupying when the athlete is wanting the groupie for her assets and when she ain't around, he looking at the other assets? Yeah. I mean, they both wrong. Because his, his mind is in the but wrong who, place, but so is hers. But who's distrusted more, though? Who who should be trusted more? Who should be trusted more? Yeah, cause cause I'm the question Ooh, was who is this man? I don't even know. You, I, this, that, I hey, don't even know. We got the limb up here, bro. We got we. Got, I don't even know, man. It's because, a tough one. Cause ooh, <laughs> I know, bro. It's it's, ooh, hard. I mean, it's hard for a player. I'm a roll with the brother. He, I'm a roll with the brother. He should be trusted more than the group. He should be trusted more. But he was searching for someone with no, those I know he was. assets. No, I know he was. And, and she got some good ones, but she Listen, ain't the only one don't out me, don't there. Don't let me do you like I did hype. <laughs> you asked me the question. I'm giving you my answer. You hear me? I'm rolling with the brother only Ooh. because I'm a guy myself. <laughs> but in, in his sense, he's looking for something temporary. And she's looking for something long term to get out of. Is he? Yes. And is he? Yes. You got to remember, Reed, you just set up here, G. Reed, and told me that the groupie was looking for 
a man with money. She group in. So we both know that she ain't if that when the money runs out or when she sees something with a lot more, she's going to gravitate to that because that's what she was looking at in the first place. And we knew that. Yeah. When we got her. And the, and and that's the, but this is, that's the, that's the same thing as the guy. He was looking at that. Yes. And he saw something that Ooh. got better. He saw, Ooh. He, saw <laughs> he saw that thing. He saw, <laughs> he saw that junk. Vision the, got blurry. He saw that junk. The then trunk. it got clear. But 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 even with him though, like his mindset was something was something small to her mindset. She was thinking of a master plan. He was thinking of a small plan. But. But what about when she gets impregnated? She's still with the master. Th that, that's the master plan. So is she is she still a groupie at that point? Yes. Uh, ah. Yes. So 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 she didn't get pregnant because of the love and and and, and wanting to carry the man's seed. She got she got pregnant. Because she knew what she wanted to do with the situation. She knew if I if I get So she pregnant, was impregnated with the bag, is what you're saying. Yes. She about to have, she about to birth the bag. Yes. She's saying, okay, I got these kids, but I know I'm finna. Think about it. Think she, about she, she it. She's birthing the Blake bag. Blake Griffin, when he got, and the woman that Blake Griffin was with. I already know. She birthing the bag. Killing it. She not thinking, oh, I'm going to be with this man forever. Because that's the case. When stuff start going wrong, let's work this thing out. No, I'm gone. And give me what I deserve. Right. I, I want 21 million a month. No. What you going to do with that much? Like, for, for what? What you what you doing? Think about the same thing. I look at the Dr. Dre case. Mm -hmm. Like she oh, talks she, about, she, you got to give me this much. Like what? Yeah, you you gonna use that much in a month? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? But 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 what if he was giving her that? You could be giving her that all you want, but this is my thing. Do you need that? But we not talking about need. We we we. I mean, technically, only need bread and water. Yeah. To survive. But the things that you need. Just for the, the 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 basics, we're not talking about the extra going getting your hair done, nails done. You can get some of that stuff done, but you you that's not I, you 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 ain't got to pay ten thousand dollars for it. You don't. But if you was giving it to her, yeah, then you stop giving it to her, yeah. Then she probably deserves it. But the groupie is taking advantage of it because the groupie know what she can get from the situation. But if you were giving it to her, yeah. And then you stop giving it to her, she probably deserve it. <laughs> deserve it. Yeah. I'm just I'm just saying, <laughs> most of the time you you create the financial space that that woman's living in. Yeah. So if if you giving her ten thousand dollars a month because she ain't working, if that's what your your allowance is or alimony is while y'all yeah. together, well, when y'all break up. She don't change what she was doing just because y'all broke up. Yeah. I, just I, like you don't change what you was doing because y'all broke up. Yeah, but we're not together no more. I know that. Now, I'm not I saying it's right. So you, you don't need it from me. You can get it from somebody else. Well, if she groupie and she can continue to groupie. That's what she going to do. And that's what she going to so do. She gonna, so that's why they but leave. What, but, what if, but, what if, but what if she buried Joe's child? What if she buried Joe's seed? Then I'm going to give my child what he needs. Yeah, but it, but he, what he or she needs, she gonna get the house more than yeah. likely. It's a two point five million dollar house. Then y'all need to move into a smaller house. <laughs> Sell a house, get the money, move into a smaller house. Hey, you put her in 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 the kids in that house. I did. We got I put, separated. No, I, put, I put us. That's right. I put us in that house. But she wasn't working. Now, Reed. I'm, now I'm no. And, and since you're not working and I'm not with you, you need to find. I, I'm I, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna give enough to support you all. So you but not for that living. So you want to control. I'm not living with so you, you still want to control. I don't, I, that I don't, is control, G. I don't want to control you. That G. Reed, that's, that's control. control. No, 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 no. That's what you were doing prior to the when breakup, you, G. When Reed. We were together. You were doing that, right? But now I'm no longer with you. Now you're trying to control. But me I was dependent. But I was dependent on you financially you in this relationship. But now we're not together. You still depend on me. Yes. Why we're we not together no more? Because I've I've I have a certain no, standard of living. No, I'm not together no more. Well, I know that, but the the, the judge. I'm not talking about me. The you judge, sound like you sound like you the judge. I, I I'm just I'm just out here fighting for the for the fellas and and the ladies and, yeah, and the ladies for the and ladies the right now. I, that's right. I got their back, bro. I got their back. I, I got their back today, too. right now. But, but, I'm just but, saying. But I'm, I'm being honest. 
Me too. You cannot control somebody just because you're you you're taking care of them financially. So now that doesn't give you the right to control. So now you control my bank account. No, you control your bank account. I you am I'm trying I, to control no, no, my no, bank no, account no, no, by no, saying no, no, this no, no. how much I can G read, G read, G read, G read. When we was together, I was at home. And I'm just getting into the mindset and the perspective of the young ladies that are out I, there. I wouldn't be dating you. You know what I'm saying? When we got together, you went and you bought this $2.5 million house. You was giving me $10,000 a month to take care of my essentials. Then I buried your seed, right? Which yeah. kids cost money too. Then you went out, did what you did. I did what I did or whatever we did. We got a divorce. And then the lawyer, the, the judge said, hey, she get the house, which is I. I get the house. The kids stay with me. So I got to continue to feed and clothe, take care of the kids. I got to continue to pay this, the mortgage or whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the lights, the, the, the electricity, the, I mean, the electricity, the lights, the water, you know what I'm saying? The mud, the, the insurance, all of that. While you go on and you do whatever. But I wasn't ever working. So I was always doing this with the money that you gave me. And it takes $10,000 to do what I need to continue to do even though you're not there. But, so now you're trying to tell me that even though my essentials are $8,000 a month, that you want to now give me three? Yeah, I do. And why? That's unmanly. Because be, no, no, it's, no. it's kind of unmanly. No, it's, She's I, the mother of your kids, G. Reed. I get that. I get that. But when you were with me, this is what we did. Now that, I'm, now that we're no longer together, I am I am giving you enough to provide for our child. I'm giving you enough to provide for our child. The quality so, of mm. life that you gave to them. So if I was giving you, you ten thousand, are you saying that your child and your baby's mama are not don't need that quality of life anymore just because you're not there every single day? What I was giving no. <laughs> And it, it, it sounds harsh, but it's not. It is. It's kind of harsh. No, it ain't harsh it's it's kind of hard. If I'm, if, look, if I'm giving you, if we together, I'm giving you ten thousand dollars. I'm giving you, I'm, I'm giving you ten thousand dollars. We together. We together. I'm giving you ten thousand. You're my girl. I'm your man. I'm giving you ten thousand. We're no longer together. I don't need to give you ten thousand anymore. Now I'm not. I'm not finna give you one thousand, but I'll give you. I'll give you three. So what quality? So now what you got to do is now you gotta now you gotta start to say okay he give me enough to take care of. Take care of my kids and stuff. Okay, but well, I, have to get out, I have to get out and do my own thing. Too. No, 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 G. Reed. If it's young kids and both parties have agreed that she is to stay home and be the caregiver of those kids. Yes. She is a professional stay-at-homer. When she was with me. When she was with you. Well, you're not with me. You provided her. Hold on. You provided her a quality of life. I did. And it was okay for her to be that professional stay-at-homer. Yes. When y'all get a divorce, she's still a professional stay at homer with your kids. But she's not that with me. That you provided a certain quality of life. And she's not with me. So how much of that quality of life is she supposed to give up now? How much? How much? Yeah, how much? Out of the 10,000? How, how much? Out of, out of the 10,000? No, I'm talking about the quality. You you, you putting a... You putting a okay, you, I'm, I'm, I'm putting a price there because that's, yeah. that's something we're doing. Right. I mean, is... Because it's not are, just her; it's her and the kids. Yeah, yeah. All of them are still valuable, and I and I believe I should pay for them, and I don't I don't believe that I should be paying all that for her. I feel like the kids is what is what I'm responsible but them for. Or her, but I'm responsible for my kids. But you're still so I'm no longer so you I'm no longer responsible okay. for the person. I'm responsible I get for that. my kids. I get that. So you think? And, well, let me let me let me let, let me just get this right. Okay. Your your. The person that buried your kids. Yes. Birthed your kids. Yes. Once you're not with her, it diminishes her, her role in your life to being just someone that's not deserving of the same quality of life that she had, but she's still your, your baby's mother's. Let me, I'm just getting this right. Cause, because as a, as a, as a son, mm -hmm. I would think, ill of my father if he thought that way of my mother i'm not thinking ill. Of I'm, I'm just I'm, yeah. just I'm just i'm just saying I'm, I'm just changing the perspective because regardless of them being together that's still the woman who buried your children yeah 
and to me, that woman should always hold a certain type of weight in your life, whether you're with her or not. Yeah, of course, of course. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, of course. So, so I'm still responsible for her as far as a certain quality of living yeah. because she still has my kids. Yeah. And but I don't. You understand what I'm saying? No, no, I, 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 to, I totally understand. I totally, I, I'm totally with you on that. But I'm saying, in the case is that our, our our responsibility together is our is our kid. That's our responsibility together. Yeah. So if our responsibility is is our kid, got it? Cool. I'm gonna take care of the kid. I'm 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 gonna give what the kid needs. The kid shouldn't have to ask for shouldn't ask for anything because I'm gonna give it to the kid. Right. And if I need to give you this, okay, you say, you know. He, hungry this and that you should have the money for it now i'm not gonna give just a okay how, how much is it it's 5.99 i'm gonna give 5.99 no i'll go ahead and give you 20 dollars. i'm no longer with you i don't give you the same amount that i would when i was with you it didn't go like that because if it goes like that because and i'm not diminishing her but i'm no longer with her so if you want to say that the girl you was with in first grade, you still you still giving her lunch money? I didn't get a, I didn't get no first graders no damn lunch money. Reading. When you was in high school, you you still giving her money to go to the movies? Do you read? I didn't I didn't get no 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 girls no lunch money when oh, I was in oh, high school. Oh oh, they provided for you. We provided for each other. <laughs> so okay, so the you so are you giving her that the stuff you provided her, you still giving her that? No. Why? She ain't my baby's mom. But we were having fun together, G. Reed. And y'all was having fun in the relationship. So it was a lot of things that you would be able to get. She was able to get. Yes. But we didn't y'all being together. But we didn't have to co-parent. But now you are separated. But we didn't have to co-parent Okay, but, but when it's going to co-parent, I'm, I'm not diminishing that. But I'm not going to give her the same amount when we were together because you were not working. You, you, you have to, you got, you got at least... I'm responsible for the kids. You're responsible, I'm not responsible for the you for was, her no more. You're responsible for the unit. I, I'm responsible for the kids. You're responsible for I'm the not, unit. I'm not gonna leave her completely out and just give her nothing. Exactly. I'm gonna give be something. Foul. I'm I'm, I'm, but, I'm gonna but, give something. But, but we, I'm not gonna give the same. But we are tied together as a unit forever. Yeah. So I am responsible still for that. I'm responsible I feel that for my way. kids, but I'm I'm not responsible giving you the same exact thing that I did when we were together. You're not getting the same exact thing we did. When we okay, so let's okay. That's let's, not happening. Okay, so let's say this. So let's say she was working. Yeah. Okay. Y'all split up. It's a divorce. She's in the house. She got the three kids. Yeah. She was working. Pandemic hits. Mm -hmm. Boom. She loses her job. You're not responsible for her, but those kids are still with her or in the house. Hold on. Wait, 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 okay. And she comes to you and she says, "Hey, my mortgage is fifteen hundred dollars." Fifteen hundred dollars. My mortgage is twenty hundred. I lost my job. I can't pay that. No. Are you responsible for paying that fifteen hundred dollars at that time? No. Would you pay fifteen hundred dollars? Yes, I'm gonna pay fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. Because my kids don't need the roof. Okay. But but that's for their but that's for uh, them uh, and their shelter. Exactly. It's not it's, for her hair. It's for her it's quality not for of all life. Other stuff. You took it somewhere else. I'm not. i have never said that you should pay for her hair. Did I know? But I never lace fronts does not come. But you also told me about a situation that happened, and I, and my I, kids I, are involved. You right. I'm not saying. I've never. You never heard me say that you should pay for lace fronts. You should pay for French manicured. But that's the ten thousand. But but at first when we talked about the ten thousand. That 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 comes apart. You say you was given a ten thousand. No, that's, that's what. No, 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 she, no, no. she was what, working. She was no, at home. No, no, stay no. at home. Exactly. That was the basically. The, the the bills that was that was every what I'm saying is ten thousand dollars could be and, and is a reasonable amount of someone that's making millions of dollars yeah. you know what I'm saying in a quality of life that they were living now of course I don't think no man should be paying for the lace fronts in the in the in the eyelashes in the in you know what I'm saying and all of those things but I'm saying there is a quality of life that you were providing yeah. for her and your kids as a unit when you were together I'm, ju I'm just saying i don't think that she should go over and beyond that but i do think she's entitled to the same quality of life if the agreement was i'm staying home and taking care of the kids 
Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? No, 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 I just I, don't want to. No, no, no. I just think a lot of times it's easy for us to when say. When it comes to an age limit, though, too. It is. It, so, so if 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 the kids are if the kids are the kids are not going to school, the kids are you no. Know, if they're grown, yeah. If if they're grown, twenty twenty two, yeah, you right. But if if they're like now, if we talking about like you staying at home because of the kids, then okay, yes, yes that's what that's what we talking about. As they starting to get older, I feel like it's different. It is different, and it's I, different. I I agree. I just but, think I just think as us as men, just because we ain't with the woman anymore and we're divorced, it doesn't dissolve us of our responsibilities of that unit. Yeah. Uh, of the unit. See now, I, I've I've never been married, so I don't. I'm not. I, I don't. In that situation, talking to me about it, I've never experienced it. Completely understand that. Now, but this is the thing, and I will say this: if she remarries and brings another man into that unit, then the unit ain't what I'm talking about no more. But what if you get married? Then I'm gonna take care of my family, but I still have responsibilities. But you're gonna too. give you gonna give the same amount to that family and this family too, right? I'm I'm I mean it depends. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not really a dollar amount. I'm not necessarily talking about yeah. a dollar amount. I'm okay. talking about a quality of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah, you, you yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? And and, and, I, and I put a dollar on it, shouldn't put a dollar on it, but I thought this I thought we was putting a dollar on no, it. No, I, I get it. And I'm I'm just saying a quality of life. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that dollar amount is. I just think as a man. It's 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 manly to make sure that the unit that 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 was together, even if it's not together, is taken care of. Yeah, that's that's just me. If she marries again, then that changes everything. She had a boyfriend. She, boyfriend changes everything. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, and yeah, eventually yeah, she yeah, yeah, yeah. And, eventually and, and, she will and, have one. So. And that's what. And maybe I didn't say it, but like that's what I was meaning is that if you're not with me, you by yourself. And I'm going to help because you by yourself. But when someone comes into the equation, I'm still going to help, but it's going to be a little different of how I help. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be different of like what's going to be helped. And it should be. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you're not, you don't, you're not entitled to everything that you was yeah. entitled to when we was together. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. And, and that's how, like, that's what I was meaning, but All I right. wasn't saying exactly how, how you put it. So right. I'm in full agreement with what you're saying. So I'm, I'm not like, I'm not going to just leave you by yourself. I'm not going to just leave you like that. No. Right. But if you with somebody and y'all y'all growing together, it's, 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 it's a difference. Yeah, you, you but if, but if you just like with somebody and that's just like, oh, you know, this and that. I'm like, if it's just fun type stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. It ain't serious. But when it gets serious and I feel like, you know, I'm going to still take care of what's mine. Right. You know, but I feel like in essence, you with him. Right. And you should be okay. No, no, you. But I'm you, gonna make you, sure they're okay, right? And you're gonna be okay, and me and him need to have a conversation, cause yeah. him don't need to be addressing my kids, him don't need to be trying to discipline my kids, him. That, no, I'm, I'm serious. I, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening to no. you now. Now, if 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 I'm if I'm not mistaken, you're you're him right now. Yeah. No, you. Yeah. You're him. Yeah. So, have there been any conversations? No, not not one. No. Do you feel like if if you're if, empowered to be anything you need to be to the kids? No, you don't. Okay. No. Without and and you haven't even had a conversation. And I have had no conversation. Okay. Because because I understand where I came from. Right. Because where I came from is almost you know my dad wasn't there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So since my dad wasn't there and. For me, I look at the situation as I know what could be said or what be said, mm -hmm. you know, and I know what be felt. But if the conversation was to be a conversation, I would help the conversation to understand the conversation. Okay, I, I could understand. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna be like, what? No, I'm a okay. I understand where you're coming from. I got you. All right. But, but but do you think that's that's a conversation? That's a conversation that's needed for you to feel totally comfortable of. Being that role model, yeah, of course. Okay, of but course. It, but if it never comes because if if the dad is not in the child's life, then that conversation is never going to be had. Yeah, of course. 
So you have to get to a point to where you're comfortable with discipline. Yeah. You have to to where you're not you're not even thinking about it no more. It's going to be a point in the relationship where you've been there long enough and mm -hmm. you have a rapport enough with the kid to where you're not going to think about anything but doing what you know to do what's right as a man. Yeah, of course. And do that. So when does that come? I mean, that comes with just the com uh, the 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 comfort and the trust factor within within the spouse. Mm -hmm. And then once that's and the there, kid. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, because you 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 build it with the spouse first, right. because the spouse has to be have enough trust to be even bring them around, right, right. And right. then when you have that, then it's like building the trust within them to like show them like I'm not doing this to 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 tear you or tear you apart or hurt right. you. I want to see you be successful as well, right. So I'm doing this to see you be successful. So uh, it it's gonna take the spouse first, and then it's, then it's gonna take them, and then want to take them, and I put both of them together, then. Everything else goes how it's supposed to go, I but guess. the conversation that probably should happen probably won't happen, mm -hmm. and here's what it is. All right. But I'm open to the conversation. I hear you. And, and with that being said, I just want to say this because this this is something that I personally feel just uh, having a relationship with my grandparents, uh, both of my grandfathers, and seeing how you know they m maneuvered in the house and coming from a broken household myself with my mom and dad being split up when I was around 10. I just think as, as men, the unit is still a unit, even though it, it is not together. Yeah, of course. And a lot of times what I see in our community is, is, and even with the females, there's so much bitterness and hate towards each other. Once the divorce or the breakup happens that ultimately the kids end up suffering because of two grown people that can't get along. And you don't need to get along for each other, but I know for a fact, you know, that I was affected from from the breakup. Yeah. Not and, and not and not and he's always took care of his responsibility, but I'm just saying I was affected from the breakup. Yeah. Uh, I think they could have done better as maintaining us as a unit, even though we wasn't a unit in the same house. Mm -hmm. and, and I think for the most part, as black men, what we do is once we are removed from one unit, it's like on to the next. And, and especially when they get other families, I've seen a, more times than not that the new family is my priority and my responsibility to where the old family, meaning the kids, not just the lady, but the kids are not a priority anymore. Yeah. They're just a responsibility that the court said I have to pay for. Mm -hmm. And then the kids, eventually they feel that. So yeah. I just I just think us as black men we could kind of do better, and that's just my personal. Of problem. course, of course, and you know and, and 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 though you said that, I mean, because that's that's how I felt, you know, as as a kid growing up, because because my father, my father, man, my father never, my mama never got child support from my father, mm -hmm. you know, whatsoever. You know, my father. I mean, I, I saw my father. I could probably count how many times I saw my father as as I got older on my hands, mm -hmm. right? And so the stuff, the little stuff that he did for me didn't mean much to my mama working six jobs, you know, not having money, you know what I'm saying? Us having <laughs> cable, cable cut off, gas, lights cut off, mm -hmm. and he's just chilling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He out in California, we out in Texas, we, we, we struggling. You're not taking responsibility. You're not, like, even if it's just me and giving just a little bit to help, you're not, mm -hmm. not even doing that. My dad's father, same thing. Mm -hmm. My sister father, the same thing. And like, I know what it's like. So for me, it's like, I made a vow to myself, man, when I have kids to take full responsibility because that's my responsibility. Right. And of course, like you said, if the if the woman is with nobody, I, I need to make sure she's okay because she's the one that's doctoring my kids. So if she's not okay, how can she be okay enough to take care of my kids? So I understand the whole situation. And I feel like it's huge that as African-Americans, especially to take care of what we have because we all we got anyways. Right. So it's like, man, own up. Whatever it takes, even if you don't have a good relationship with the parent, with, with me, with the with with the girl, find a way to like come together as, as, for, for something, for something bigger than you. Right. And I feel like if we be able to do that, man, we can be able to grow together and be something. Be something, bro. But right now, we just kind of we kind of just like just scattered around right now, mm -hmm. just playing the field of however it go, and that that becomes an issue a lot. Of, and that like that's the same thing with a lot of like rap issues when people out killing each other like we you got to understand you killing somebody who has a who has a child who has a family 
You know what I'm saying? Like they kill somebody's son. They can't go home to that. Kill somebody's father. Now they have nothing. Somebody's brother. Right? right. And so the rap people doing that, killing each other, thinking it's cool, and you got people that's that's that's, that's promoting, saying, oh, "I ain't gonna be with you because you tripping. I don't care." Like you gotta understand, it's bigger than you. Like I was that kid, so I know how big it is. Right. And many people are, still are that, still are those kids. Right. And it sucks, but coming together, man, to understand that it's bigger than you, your life is bigger than you. And when you start to realize that, we start to come together and become one. A lot of changes to be made, but until then, we're gonna be scattered and separated. You feel me? So, I understand exactly what you mean. So, with that being said, bro, let's just man up as black men in our communities. Let's just all try to do better because I know I I can do better. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but we're beautiful people, bro. For sure. And, and it's it's just time, like you said, it's time for us to just own up, man up. Everybody take care of their responsibilities. And let's just live, love, and laugh, bro. That's it. That's it, bro. It's more than athletes. Yeah, like more than wow. I'm Coach Crazy. I'm G Reed 61. Y'all know what it is. More than athletes.